Thank you, Honorable Chair. And well done on the milestones of the outcomes and your capable steering of your first virtual forum leaders meeting. You have set the pace and standard, especially with regards to the outcomes and focus on the urgent priorities for our region. And I stand ready to support your excellent work. To our media and news teams, who have persisted and patiently followed the milestone of the journey of the forum chair, I thank you for your interest. Your patience with connection and internet dropouts and your work in keeping our people of the Blue Pacific informed and engaged with the decisions and progress of our world. And what a journey it has been. We are a region that has seen it all when it comes to our vulnerability as islands. But COVID has changed all that. Through the unified responses, the Pacific Humanitarian Pathway, the continued focus on climate ambition and financing, and what we continue to achieve for our oceans, the progress we continue to make is evidence of our resilience. Even the current political dialogue with the Micronesian leaders provides an opportunity for an honest self-appraisal and a reset. Our unique Pacific Way has become a very real part of the memories I would take from my journey as a forum chair. Of course, I cannot finish without noting the highlight of seeing the Kainagiro Declaration on urgent climate change action born from the Chubaru Forum of 2019 and strengthens our collective efficacy towards the COP26. Of all the reporting you will continue of the forum's high-level meetings, please keep signing the light on the unfolding climate crisis and how our people, our richest resource and strength are fighting this threat. The tasking set by our forum leaders in their meeting communicators has informed and shaped work streams around Pacific priorities for oceans and maritime work. Nuclear legacy, trade and e-commerce, our dialogue partners and development projects, the list goes on. The work continues. Secretary General Puna and your team, thank you for your support. And I can only affirm that ongoing support from my government towards the efforts of keeping this forum family united. And to my colleague, leader, Honorable Prime Minister, Forum Chair, I look forward to seeing you as you host our ongoing 51st forum session and to our face-to-face -face retreat in January next year. Pafdai Lassi, I thank you all.